Hi, welcome. I'm very happy that we have again a new cycle of building ISOs. So 16 desktops and there is also a seventh ISO, which is the combination of uh, open box and six tiling window manager. So we want to promote tiling window manager with that, but this is not it. This is Plasma and um, we have our Arch Linux welcome app. You can update Arch Linux mirrors if you think that your download, if you say control T and you update your system and you see a number that says, oh my God, this is going too slow for me. I see your figures that are great, right? 54 megabytes per second. So that's cool. But sometimes you're building an ISO and you see three, two, one, it seems to go down, right? Then you do an update Arch Linux mirror. There's this button. And this application is there with a control alt w it's gonna be there again but of course there is uh, our aliases so mirror mirror s and so on so just type in alias in the terminal and the machine is just installed you see it i've done a few changes and the change i've done is oh i forgot the sound so let me show you the sound maybe that's not working the way it should now and sound will be better when i slide it up here sound 100 percent. you see so the microphone root nt usb from now on you can lower your volume again because i have 100 percent of microphone input here so what i was saying is with a control alt m often a keyboard short shortcut we use I've done something to assure that we don't have chitter or lag or whatever it's called. And that's with uh, tearing prevention vSync never. I apply that and at this point in time the video is just going to be crystal clear without any glitches. So this is Plasma, a nice wallpaper. We are probably tired of the wallpaper. There is a variety and variety changes your wallpaper if you want to. So next wallpaper. And in variety, you have preferences and the preference can be set. You can either say, no, I don't want variety to start when the computer starts. So it won't set or change the wallpaper. Unless, of course, you press keyboard shortcuts, Alt N for next, and it's the next wallpaper coming along. What I do is change this link here to my own Dropbox or Google Drive or anything or um, anything wallpaper like right and you point it to a specific place on your computer where you have the wallpapers and then variety just shows you and gives you the choice what do you want to see today well wallpaper selector and you choose i'm going to look at this for today right mouse click close it again and tell him to just pause here image and then resume regular changes you see so it's paused at this point in time when I say resume regular changes, it will continue to change every five minutes, whatever your setting you've done, right? But another interesting thing is Alt Arrow Up, which is also a keyboard shortcut to, to say to the variety, freeze. This image is a great one. I'll use it today. Next time, next day I boot up and you can say to variety, whatever you like. You can say at every boot, I want to have a new one, change wallpaper and start, right? So you can have change wallpaper every minute or just say, no, 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 just leave one of them um, available. There, there are other sources as well. Maybe it's interesting as well to have a look at that. We have standards. Uh, they're out standards. So you can have a click and then sometimes it goes, it provides you with a wallpaper. But as you see, I suppose I'll probably need to do something here activated or something but it's not providing any uh, at the point at this point in time this topper unfortunately is no longer with us because oh there they are so they will come in so this is not for me uh, they come gradually they come in i'm a two dual screen so i see three pictures and they're divided over my two screens well that's a good one so these guys will provide some source and you can add folders and so on all right enough said about variety you don't like variety great no problem 
sudo pacman anything you don't like and see minus r remove anything you don't want right then the name variety and maybe well we can do a variety like this see what happens another thing you need to learn and look up arch wiki pacman see what an rs is right so that's another choice you can do so when you choose the s anything that variety requires to work will be deleted unless it's used for if the, this package these white packages now are used for something else then it won't be deleted right so that's uh, still a safe way to delete things but you see it's a lot more than just r so now i love variety i'm gonna keep it so what else you have a menu you have workspaces one two three four five you can drag things along um, change it with control uh, alt arrow to the left to the right up down and so on you move about maybe you'd like to change um, some themes and icons control alt m is the one you need to go to remember system settings and at the bottom here we have system information so it's included in the video that's what we have this is something specific that we have added it's not standard in plasma so you see what's going on what's the state active and at some point in time maybe you will want to know what's running and so on so what else is interesting so display monitor we've been into a little, that a little bit um the start and shutdown thing so how do you want to have the login screen as ddm now the question is do we have a as ddm that's a good question well as you see as ddm is installed so we give you the power already it is already installed how do i know if something is installed try to remove it if you can remove it it's installed right so it is possible to remove it but i need to remove these two then so the answer is yes it's installed now who is in control who is now working is it light dm or sdm on article xb it's standard always as it um <laughs> light dm but how do i know that without watching this video sudo systemctl status sdm okay that's the look for sdm service what if i do light dm aha active running a pit so the power the, the process indicator id well better process id is better name and some tasks and blah blah memory so yeah this is working definitely this is not working so these things are all um you can deduct it yourself so choosing a breeze uh, login because that's what it is a login screen or login manager well doesn't make sense because it won't be applied so changing from light dm to sddm is that possible i suppose so where would i find this information you go to article linux uh, probably google it right but there are the websites articlelinux.com and articlelinuxd.com but i would probably type articlelinux and then lightm and sddm how to switch from lightm to sddm mm -hmm. all right installing plasma with sddm instead of okay but too bad all websites do not come out well, let's see if i can do a dot com if uh, he finds it i have an article d.com switching between lightm sdm just became super and probably easy right super easy that's all i need to know okay so i have to enable sdm with force 
So it's that simple. And um, well, I can't show this because this is a machine and I mean an SSD. It's not a virtual box, so I can't log out and log in with the video. But basically, copy paste this text or please try to remember it because it's an important thing. Systemctl enable lightm minus f probably of with if something is already already there you overwrite it with force that's the f right so if um lightm is there and we've just saw we, we analyzed it it is there you need to overwrite it the guys who've tried article xd are not surprised with this code at all right enable something to be there when you log in either lightm sedm lxqt and there's one more, right? So the basically the two guides are SEDM and um, that's more for plasma and lithium is just for everybody, anything. Uh, let's keep indeed everything open. So that's maybe something you'd like to do to change from lithium to SEDM and then, then, then the fun starts, right? Get new login screens, most downloads, newest rating, installed and you'll be greeted that's a nice one and you'll be greeted with uh, let's have some look at some details this would be your login sugar candy all good names what else um just keep out of these guys i just put this off Maybe you like splash screens, so it's um, when you boot up, you see some kind of slide or animation or anything like it. You can actually see what we mean by that. That's this kind of thing. That's what you see. And um, yeah, it will make my boot time longer and hence it's not there. That's pretty much the reason why we don't do it. Lots of shortcuts with um, lots of shortcuts in here. Have a look at them. We use them on all our 16 desktops. So learn it once and use them everywhere. What's um, entering as interesting as well is the desktop effects. Play around with um, uh, appearance, yeah. Candy, you go, fall apart, uh, sheet. Um, there is also some wobbly is already active. Dim inactive, maybe you like that as well. Gamers show frames per second, and so on and so on. So it's just a way to fancy your system, but it's good as it is. Screen locking is also something. Well, let's apply it. Screen locking is also something I often go to because after when I go away and the machine went to, to in a lock mode, let's say, it wants to log back in. So I don't want that screen locking. I'm at home, There's, this is a desktop. Nobody comes in here, lock screen automatically after five minutes. No, I don't want any lock when I come back. I just shake the mouse and it's awake. And after waking from sleep, the same. I don't want to see it. That's probably something I'll do. Apply, I always forget to apply. Thank you to remind me that. Cursors, you can choose any of our cursors here. The more stuff you install, the more icons and themes and cursors you install, the longer this might take to load up. So that's something that we see in Arch Linux. So yeah, we see it on Arch Linux as well. So choose what you like, select it. Icons. Just one thing with one icon theme that we made beautiful. I hope you like it. And that's always going to be made by me. It's created by me. Always going to include all the icons that we can have with all the applications that are installable with Calamaris. You know, the long list you see. Every single application has a icon because that's something I really dislike. That's an operating system that has applications without icons. Can't be, has to be complete. Some fonts, some colors, application changes, plasma style, you can choose more. But basically we set it the way we like it. But again, 
there is so much more so much more and that's up to you to figure it out because it will not always work right it will not always work but it's um, it's something you have to figure out what version of plasma is this um, this guy he, he just created it is it a long time ago is it for an older plasma etc etc there's a lot of things that um, happen but basically uh, we're happy with the look we are having and we don't really change it unless we just say well let's try let's have some fun but normally we leave everything and well i leave everything as is all right so that's something i would do um phew. let's take another wallpaper i'm tired of this one so wallpaper selector oh now we have lots of stuff in that i've never seen before like this one well this one that's actually one that exists i think with the horse hat let's take one Pew. well you need to like the, all these fancy stuff maybe you like another menu because we prior to this menu we had the this one yep that one switch and it was a bit little bit big so it depends on your resolution but even in my screen it's not that far away from the top and it just can't be dragged like in xfc and other desktops it just can't be dragged to make it smaller so plasma guys hey hear what we say would be nice if we could well application dashboard quick look maybe you like this one it is not bad it is not bad but choices right so you have your buttons escape we're back out and then back to the one we set as standard there are lots of widgets as well i'm not the kind of guy who's using icon um conkeys or widgets all that all the time but just when i need it so I, if i want to know some information on my computer system super c the conkey starts i see some information everything okay How's the speed? How's the memory? Fine. Super C. It's gone again. I don't want it to be there. But there's so much more. Uh, you can have here icons, refresh, mm -hmm. add widgets. Voila. Add widgets. That's what you want. Maybe uh, you want to have some elements here. Just start searching here. Uh, CPU or memory or network and things like that. And you drag it to the place you like. You can go and he can stay. There he is. So when we click a little bit longer with the left, you can move it about and then you can also configure it. System, just one, but we can have some fun with adding some lines probably and colors, I suppose. Is it filled in? Aha, it's three lines then. Well, I have a course, so let's brag. I've paid enough. But that's it. I cannot make the font different. I cannot make and I cannot make and I cannot make. Right? But in Conkeys you can do more. That's true. Remove. Don't want it. You can say undo. Oh. Okay. Remove. <laughs> Anything else? I think it's a quick overview. Uh, what's possible? Just have a look at the applications. What I've installed. Not that it's important. When I install, you install what you want. This might need some inter some explanation. Um, Control Alt E. We have the tweak tool, and the tweak tool has uh, also here the safe enable H block. So H block improves secure your security and privacy by blocking ads, tracking, and malware domains. And the other day we're talking on Discord. And yes, it's standard not enabled, but it's up to you to enable it. And it will change, here's the word ad block. It will change um, your hosts, hosts file, that's better with an H. And etc. And then you just type hosts with an S. 
So this guy, that's the standard one. And, and when we run it, this guy becomes the poly, it will get a copy. So we always have a backup, but it's gonna be replaced. So HBlock gets rid of all the advertising and uh, security and privacy, tracking, tracking malware domains. And we are saying here, HBlock active. And then we click here and we see what happens. Hosts. So bigger live sex is no more. You cannot see it anymore. Too bad, right? Gay sex. Maybe you'd like to see that one, but no. So all these guys are just blocked. Zero, zero, zero means the IP address. And well, even some thing, I saw some things about Microsoft that are blocked as well. Uh, probably with good intention. We believe that's um, the way it should be. Now, if you want to, there are all, all tutorials about these guys. Eh? So we can have a look again here at Linux D, probably not on D. So I think we'll have more luck on uh, articlelinux.com because I click these with all the all the desktops talking about the desktops but you see there is some information about I click tweet tool and so on but I will indeed look here and type in just the same thing H block I'm not gonna go into the details but say hey guys use the search Right, probably this one, good guess, right? So another example and some information, what's going on in a nice video. And here is some information about whitelisting and blacklisting. So if you say, damn, I can't get to my site XXX anymore. Well, put it in a whitelist or add more stuff to the, to the list to not, to not visit it, uh, to blacklist it, right? And then um, you'll save, you'll be safe, or the person you created the PC for will be safe. All right, after this intermission, well, all the rest, you know, the Alecnix Tweet tool, you take a look what you can use from it. It's a great tool. You can also decide to install on this Plasma system more desktops, and you'll have. Uh, when you log out and log back in, you'll see, oh, well, if, uh, look at the top right, you'll see a drop down for the desktops and you choose another desktop and you'll have the choice to have, to have two desktops, basically. Well, I think that's that. I can keep talking, but that's not the point. Just wanna have, give you a look at Plasma and um, well, it's not a sales pitch at all. <laughs> I have no um, stock in Plasma, whatever, but uh, it is one of my intentions of 2020, the new year intentions to get to know Plasma better. So give it a try. It's a great system. Uh, I like it anyway. Um, maybe after seeing this video, you'll say I might give it a try. All right, enjoy.